Filmed during the recent cross-border violence between Israel and Gaza, this video shows a missile fired from Israel intercepting a rocket launched in Gaza. The missile was projected by Israel's Iron Dome. It autonomously senses threats and sends a warning to an operator, who then gives the command to fire. The U.S. relies heavily on its growing arsenal of unmanned aerial vehicles, or drones. They provide surveillance, identify targets, and can deliver lethal force, but only if an operator gives the go-ahead. David Metham, Britain's director of Human Rights Watch, says within decades, technological advances could write the human operator out of the equation. Drones are not fully autonomous weapons. They have involve human intervention in terms of their targeting and the decision to strike. But that's been an increasing trend in the way that Western militaries in particular have been going in recent years. This will be several technological steps beyond that. It will be potentially be a weapon system that took the human being out of the loop. Precursors are already on their way, he says. The U.S. Navy has commissioned the X-47B, the first drone designed to operate from an aircraft carrier at sea and carry out pre-programmed missions autonomously. This machine, nicknamed Big Dog, can follow soldiers and Marines on foot over a range of terrains. It's unarmed, but Human Rights Watch says one day autonomous robots could have lethal power. One of the things that holds us back from, from barbarism in context of war is obviously the, this dis differentiation, this distinction between combatants and civilians. And we're worried about you know, a robotic weapon of the future not being able to distinguish between a child holding out an ice cream and someone holding a, a weapon. The U.S. and other militaries have said they've no plans to remove human supervision over the decision to use lethal force, despite advances in technology. But Human Rights Watch says a global treaty should be put in place to ensure robots don't become 21st century killers. Independent security analyst Hugo Rosemont says a public discussion is needed about the new technology and its role in both war and peace. There also needs to be a public discussion around some of the wider applications, such as in the use of disaster management and humanitarian relief. These technologies can be deployed and have been in those circumstances, and that should be part of this wider discussion on what we think of as autonomy. He says autonomous robots could well do the world plenty of good in the years to come. France sent these remote-controlled robots to Japan to help contain the Fukushima nuclear disaster last year. Just one job better left to machines. Sayla Hennessy for VOA News, London.